We've locked a player at a club for 30 years once again. The perfect player with frozen attributes. We've done the top five leagues. The series continues as we head on over to Portugal. Can he take whoever we've gone with from the lowest Portuguese league on the base football manager game to the top? And can they conquer Europe? Well, let's go and find out. That intro fell away. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Rodrigo Almeida, who is playing for Montalegre. Montalegre? Montalegre. Tony's in charge. Sounds like bloody manager at a post office, doesn't it? Hey, Tone. Can I have next Wednesday off? Got a dentist appointment. And we've already gone mental. Yeah, already. Uh, Rodrigo Almeida, playing for Montalegre, who are sixth in the Portugal Championship Group A. Um, the, the, the lower tiers of Portugal are a little bit funky. Portuguese third division is split into two halves. The second and then the top. So are we in, are we in non-league here? I don't know what we're in, but I think, yeah. It's the lowest, the, it's the lowest you can be on the base game. Season preview. I mean, <laughs> out of all the teams, all 56 teams, we're, we're expected to finish second. Six to five are the odds. Almeida's top. Of course he is, because he's perfect. You know what I mean? He's got perfect attributes and they're frozen as usual of course he's here for 30 years to 2053 during al halal in saudi arabia for i don't know 100 million 100 million why montalegre i think they were one of the few teams that were actually professional there's a there's a lot of teams that are semi-professional in the lowest league tier of portugal and i wanted a team that was professional because sometimes with semi-professional teams with these future transfers and contracts when the team becomes professional it glitches out and it makes the entire simulation a waste of time and i need to discover that when they become professional a couple of years in and a few minutes into the recording so it's a waste of my time i would say and yours but it's not a waste of your time because you never see it it's just a massive waste of my time so always go for a professional club just for my own ease anyway now you've got the uh admin out of the way couldn't they get promoted the first time of asking well let's go to 2024 see what happened Okay, so, I mean, loads of teams are getting relegated. I mean, I'm not sure exactly what's gone on here. I mean, these two teams got promoted. These two teams went into playoffs. What happened? Promotion stage. What is that? Okay, the Montalegre, we, we went up in the promotion stage. Won three, drew three. Uh, and then the championship playoff final. We lost to Marin Hentz. What? But we've been promoted. We're now in the Portuguese third division north. First stage, where four teams go up and five teams six teams get relegated this is mental the portuguese system can can uh, uh, now this is a plea to anyone who's educated enough um to let me know in the comments down below but those of you who are from portugal who've been nagging me to do something in portugal or saying do this this experiment in portugal or say do portugal as some of you wonder kids and some of the other videos now's your time to shine to explain your league structure so i expect multiple comments because i'm always getting peppered in the comments from all you lot requesting portugal to be included so here i am including portugal give me some portuguese knowledge i don't mean to make that sound like such an order and um, please if you can be very very grateful thank you so anyway so we went up and he scored 54 goals who's the award winners well rodrigo almeida was the player of the year of course he was a 7.82 yeah much better than jao rafael and leonardo chow top goal scorer yeah 30 and 28 with 15 assists almeida brilliant 9 in 13 for the old portugal roberto martinez is picking him he's up front of course he is gotta feel sorry for people like beto and gonzalo ramos haven't you he would be up front jao felix maybe because they're just not going to get a get vitinha but the, the 600k in the hole the squad for montalegre i mean no one's over 100 in terms of current ability some over 100 potential but they're going to need to really up their game i'll be honest with you a lot of these players are youth players look how bad they are they just lose all the squad a few players have left on freeze i'm not sure where all the players have gone well that doesn't bode well does it 350 to 1 they think we're going to be relegated you need a decent transfer window tony got 12k 4k to spend on wages he's got 4k to spend on wages yeah uh rodrigo is on 300 pound a week Ooh, what greedy bastards chewing up all that wage budget no one how they spending 20 odd grand on wages there's no players rodrigo's earning the fourth most at the club at 300 pound a week if you add up all those it's like 1200 quid 1300 quid 1500 quid at the most and then everyone else like 55 pound a week and a couple in the hundreds you put they're less than two grand here where's the other 20 grand going tony's walking away with four bags is he money laundering yeah look at his face i can't believe your wage either tony can't believe he's getting away with it know what i mean right motivational speaker dream believe achieve the tony way look how bad he is look at all the reds all the all the staff i mean all the staff are earning far too much money for my liking i'm not happy where's all this i don't know where all the wages are going 
20 sorry i've read that completely wrong i thought they had 4k spare they're spending 4k they've got 20 nearly 24k to spend right delve into the free transfer market tony bring some people in for nothing you've got 24k to spend i expect you to go and do that let's go to 2025 and see how abysmal montalegre do in this second season right i mean look you've got your promoted team here like zero i mean i can't even say that leak sosh caldas not even in the playoffs like what happened with caldas Got all these teams in the place. The, the, the South first stage, no one gets promoted. You've got promoted and champions. I'm assuming we've gone up. You've got Lank FC, Villa Verdens, and Penafiel, who are also in the playoffs. Uh, championship group. Yeah, we won that. And the relegation stage. I uh, don't know. I don't know. What's happening? So that's why. Oh, Caldas are in a, another playoff because they finished there. And oh, the relegation stage. So all the teams are going to the relegation stage. Actually, just go into a big group and only a couple get relegated. That's fine then. So you're not getting six teams relegated. So I'm learning as I go. But for all of you who've already done it, thank you very much for explaining the league structure because I would still like to be educated. I'm not saying it in an um, ignorant way going, oh, this is rubbish. I'm actually really interested as to how the structure works because I'm fascinated with the different tournament formats that people have in different nations. Because, yeah, very interesting. I love how it works. I want to expand my knowledge. Right. So, in terms of the awards, Rodrigo Almeida, of course, player of the year. Once again, 7.59. Top goal scorer. Yeah. Only 23. Only 23. Right. The current wage is 13K. The wage budget is 40. The difference is 26. So, he's still got 26K available. But he's spending 13K as old tone. 600 Gs in the hole. He's got no budget. No budget. He's not bought... He's bought a few players. He bought Ricardo Benjamin for nothing. No, he was already here. Okay. He just improved then. Aging. Ricardo Diaz over here is aging. He's 34. Quite a few of these others are... Yeah, he's, he's, he's bought a few players that are all right. Probably in for free. £68,000 he spent. And he's absolutely filled the squad out. Yeah, fair play to him. Fair play to him. Tony, you've done us a solid here. Got us a few... Oh, God, look at the loan players. Zidane would be loving life. Two of the Portuguese second tier. Few teams can't gain promotion because they, of course, are the B teams to the teams that are in the top division themselves. The season preview says 15th. So, but of course, that's as low as it can be in terms of odds. 300 to 1. The next worst team is Torrents at 33 to 1. They think Torrents are 10 times more likely to win the league than us. And they are, I don't know, I don't know, a third, 100 times less likely to win it than Mori Rents. So we are... 10,000 times less likely to win the league than anyone than Morientz. Does that sound maths? Probably not. Almeida's still top, up top in the Media Dream 11, of course. The reason we are only 15th, not in the bottom three, is because these three have not got odds because they can't go up as champions. But they're going to still win the league, just not go up. So that's confusing. 13 in 21 for Portugal. Roberto Martinez is still in charge. And they've only gone and won the Euros. Look at that. João Palhinha scored in the 93rd minute. Rafael Liao equalised in extra time after Nkunku put them back ahead. No penalty for uh, Almeida. Did he not play? Why didn't he play? Did Almeida not go? Rodrigo Almeida there. So hang on. On the 4th or the 7th. Did he get an injury? He's been out for five days in total for his entire career. He just wasn't chosen. He was dropped. I can't believe it. He dropped him portugal won the bloody euros so he's won the euros with portugal and um, he's been promoted at every uh, turn with montalegre so he's doing he's doing bits is uh is old rodrigo let's jump straight through to 2026 and let's see if they managed to get promoted out of uh second tier of portugal i doubt it i doubt it very much so well the winners were benfica's reserve team who can't go up so us and ac viseu have gone up i assume two teams come down yes that's correct two teams come down wow player of the year rodrigo almeida 22 goals six assists Surely, Golden Boot? Yeah. One by six goals, Vivaldo Semedo in second and Miguel Farley in third. 24 in 33 for Portugal. Roberto Martinez is still in charge and they're in the World Cup semi-final. He scored a brace there. Another brace. A hat-trick against Belgium in the round of 16. Did not score in the quarter-final. I was going to say João Felix in the 91st minute. It wasn't the 91st minute, but it was after extra time. But Croatia in the World Cup semi-final and they will play either France or USA or well, the winner of Croatia versus Portugal so I would say France versus maybe Portugal Portugal could win back to back your uh, world 
in, could Portugal could win back to back international tournaments. So Almeida has done a good bit of its business for them. Tony is still in charge. 1.43 million in the hole. They've got a wage budget of 62,000 pounds. Spending just over 10 and a half. They've got 51k they can spend. Their squad, few players over 100 now still not good enough the squad is abysmal it is really abysmally bad if they if the media predict them to be finishing anywhere but bottom i'll be shocked and look at that a thousand to one whereas the next place is 150 to one so yeah you're gonna have to delve into that transfer market tony put out the call for a bit of overtime from the boys go to 2027 well bloody hell they didn't not only did they not finish bottom they've managed to get themselves into the conference league which is baffling to me let's have a look at the season preview okay they've moved up to 700 to one now and they're with um oh, P. Ferreira. Who's that? What's, what's, the, what's their club called? P. Ferreira. I don't know. Porto have won the league last three years in a row. So last season, sorry, the awards. Robert Bosnick was the Fair Play Award. Who cares? Player of the year, Rodrigo Almeida with a 7.41. 23 goals, 8 assists. Has he got a golden boot? He did. Won by three goals from Danny Namasso. Myron Van Brederode in third. Six goals behind. So third place was nine goals off the pace of rodrigo did they win the world cup they did not they lost one nil to france in the final it was christopher and kunku getting revenge for portugal winning the euros two years before nuno espirito santo is now in charge why is that then he's resigned roberto martinez and retired resigned and retired there you go so how's the squad looking tony's still in charge 900k in the hole we've got a bit of a budget oh he's he's actually spending a bit on his wages now and they've got quite a few players over 100 he's not good enough but it's a start he's, he's he's building that squad around rodrigo and i understand why because he's the best player rodrigo almeida is already a club legend this stadium was oh this stadium was built in 2026 the jose carlos de masado that means we've got to wait till 2056 he'll have long gone by then but we have simulated till gone past there so hopefully we get a stadium named after rodrigo almeida because he's already a club legend by 2027 insane can we get the facilities up a bit well we need a bit more money need to get some wonder kids in need to get some sales happening but i've got confidence in tony in tony we trust the motivational speaker that is anthony de silva I mean, he's, he's not a great coach, but no. He's determined. He's got good motivating. Go on, Tony. And so let's go one more year into the future. Let's go to 2028 and see how they fared in the first season in the Conference League. Well, they've qualified for the Europa League from my perspective via league position. Not that I'm overly sure on the system in Portugal. Porto have won the league again, this time on goal difference. But we are fifth Europa League football. They did not win the Conference League. Didn't even qualify for it. Got knocked out in the qualifying round. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. Well, there was the squad. Oh, we're finally in a profit. £30,000 in the green. Oh, we're overspending on wages. Overspending. You got £300 on this, this player. Rodrigo Almeida, the best player in the world. Loads of, loads of players in the one teens now, so they're starting to spend a bit of money to get players in, and it's worthwhile. I mean, Rochinha at 33, don't reckon much to him, to be perfectly honest, but you do you, Tony, you do you. In terms of the media, they think they're actually going to finish 12th now, 350 to 1, so yeah, yeah. Europa League football's good, a bit more prize money coming in. I would like to think they'll qualify for it, hopefully they do, hopefully they do. 50 and 57 for Portugal, and we just, we've just been eliminated in the semi-final 3-2 to Spain. Deary me. Okay, so they're they're in the they're in the Portuguese league. I can't see them being relegated now. They the media think they're good enough to stay up and they've starting to move through the gears and getting players in. So now with 25 years to go in the experiment, we're five years in. I say it's time to start rolling on those five-year jumps. So let's go to 2033. Start rattling through things a little bit quicker. We were fifth last time and the following season, oof, down in ninth. Disappointing. Disappointing indeed. Then back up in fifth, then down in seventh, then getting sixth in conference league football, and then finally we've qualified for the champions league for the first time in history by finishing fourth and that is the most recent season so fourth was our best placed finish no european trophies whatsoever 2.1 million in the budget overspending in wages by twenty eight thousand pounds however we are spending two hundred thirty six thousand pounds so the team look at this 130s 120s we are paying the big bucks for some absolutely super absolutely fantastic players but that'd be a look at this guy 19 he was bought for 2.9 million he could be sold for 10 times that and a bit of money for the club rodrigo 88 and 116 for portugal on slots in charge and oh they got to the final of the world cup beating france in the semis on penalties again 
This time they lost 1 0 to Spain in the final, and it was Ansu Fati with a goal in the 91st minute. He's transfer listed by request for £47 million at 30 years old. He's not kicked on, has he? Ansu Fati. A 1 6 1 potential. He's not played a lot for Barcelona, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, bit part player. Just not happening for him, is it? Uh, in 2032, the Euros got to the quarters, losing to Spain again 1 0. Bogey team. Lost to France in the group as well there. No penalties in the group stage. But Montalegre, we've not managed to win any tournaments, unfortunately. So any European trophy that they've been in, they have not got there. They got to the league phase of the Conference League. They got to the knockout phase and lost to uh, Silkeborg. Following season, there was no Europe, was there? Then, the, then they got the Europa League and they got to the round of 16, losing to PSV. And we had nothing. And then this most recent season, it was the Europa League league phase. And the quarter-final to Soci Real Sociedad and Sebastian. Top goal scorer has been Rodrigo Almeida pretty much every season, except when Alexander Mitrovic won it for Benfica in 28-29. Did Almeida have a bad season? 18-32, in 32, so it's not even like you can say he had an injury. He just did quite rubbish in the league. 18-32 and 32 is not good enough for me. You get 10 in 12 continentally and 6 in 5 in the cup. So you got 34 and 49 in all competitions, but it just wasn't enough in the league. And I think that was mirrored by a poor league showing that season. We're now up in Champions League places and the media think we're going to finish fifth. And I would go along with that. I would say that that's probably fair. Just look to the Media Dream 11. Harvey Elliott is playing for Porto. He was signed for £49 million. And so is Rico Lewis. £56 million. So anyway... We're up there and we're meant to be qualifying for the Champions League. I would think in the next five years, I'd like to think we're going to be at least finishing in the top two of the league, maybe even knocking Porto off their perch. So 2038, here we come. Yeah, Champions League qualification was the was there. And then the following season, again in fourth Champions League qualification. Then we finished fifth, getting Europa League qualification. And again, fifth Europa League. Back up in fourth with Champions League qualification. And then most recently, back down in fifth with Europa League qualification. Now, that's consistent, isn't it? Fourth and fifth are the last five years in every season. The season preview thinks we're going to finish fifth. The squad, Tony's still in charge. He's spending 600k a week on wages now. He's got 25 million in the bank. He's got 9 million in his budget. And his players are saying what? He's got, oh, Joachim Kingstrom, a Swedish player. He got for free. He's wanted by Atletico Madrid and could get sold for probably in the region of about 50 million pounds. That'd be very good for the club. That'd be fantastic for the club. You've got Jonathan Silva, who's at 147. Loads in the 140s and quite a few in the 130s. So they're knocking on the door aren't they 174 caps for Portugal 146 goals is he still playing for Portugal he is he is still playing for them Gattuso is in charge of Portugal we lost to England in the World Cup after extra time losing 2-1 and then the following Euros we won it once again a hat-trick in the final for Rodrigo Almeida he also scored two in an after extra time win against Germany he scored a brace 80th minute penalty and a 91st minute goal against Netherlands I was going to say a 91st minute winner but I mean it was technically but Xavi Simons didn't get one back till the 97th minute so that would have made it 2-0 we're currently in the quarter final of the World Cup but the European Championships two have been won by Portugal here Italy won the two in between and yeah so it's been Portugal and Benfica who've just been winning the league unfortunately we've not managed to break into that top echelon of um, taking trophies we don't even broke into the top two it's a bit disappointed we've stagnated somewhat but we are starting to build and we are getting a bit of money in the bank and going to be reinvesting that and Tony's doing well with it to be fair Tony's doing doing, doing bits but I do think think we need to maybe sell a couple of players maybe sell our swede for 50 odd million pounds get a bit of money into the club take one step back for two steps forward we need to strengthen simple as that we need more players in the 150s to really start pushing on and trying to get further in that champions league because where, where have we been finishing in the champions league have a look yeah so we lost in the round of 16 lost in the um champions league playoff and the champions league third the champions league league path third qualifying round so we got to champions league once Lost to the round of 16. Getting to the quarter semis, um, round of 16 of the Europa League. So it's getting better as time's progressing. Conference League. Uh, disappointed we never, never won that, but we've not been in it for a few years. So can't really complain about that. So let's go to 2043 and see how things have moved on as we move into the last 10 years. Yeah, 37, 38, we were fifth. And the following season, oh, fifth again in 38, 39. Oh, it's not looking good, is it? Okay, it is looking good. Um, hang about. We got 73 points on, and we finished fifth. 
with Montalegre. The following season, we equaled our points tally and we won the league on goal difference. Work that one out. And then, yeah, and then 74 points back down in third because, yeah, Benfica went and won it on 85 points. So we didn't win the league. Other teams lost it. But we got our first Portuguese trophy, but Portuguese league title, should I say, to our name. And our second, this time with 83 points. We deserve this one in 2041-42. And in 42-43, ooh, second by two points to Porto. And again, we des we should have done better than 75 points. That should have been ours to lose. That should have been ours to lose. Season preview thinks we're going to be fourth. Tony is still in charge. 30 million in the hole, spending over a million pounds on wages now. He's got players in... Slows in the 140s, one in the 150s. I think he's just overspending on players just because he needs people of a certain ability. Which is a bit disappointing. A bit disappointing, really. Rodrigo, he's 38. He's surely retired from international duty. He has. He has. And that was in 2041. So we'll have a quick look at Portugal. Conte Sao's there. So lost in the World Cup second round. He was already gone, though, by this point. Uh, lost in the semis to Spain in the Euros and the World Cup. Won the World Cup, beating England after extra time with a 93rd minute goal from Rodrigo Almeida. So Portugal have got a World Cup to their name. So Denmark, 2042. Golden Boot. Oh. Rodrigo Almeida won the Golden Boot with 12 when they won the World Cup in 2038. We've also won a Portuguese Cup in the 38-39 season. Run up a couple of times as well on the way. Um up all the way up here we've not won anything in europe unfortunately but there is still time there is still time we built another stadium in 2028 the jose manuel viage arena tony's now a legend and made almeida's an icon tony's a legend what's tony done tony's done all right to be fair but, but me and tony are legends together i'll have you know that's the expression again how's he not a legend exactly tony i hear you loud and clear son Let's go to 2048 then. Of course, we last here and they finished second in 2042-43. We should have won it that season. The following season, could we take our title back? No, we finished third. 73 points. Even worse. Porto a point better off, but Benfica won the league on 80 points. You want, at least, you want at least 80 points to win the league, don't you really? And Benfica won it again on 81. We finished second on 73. Then third on 78. Oh, it's been a bit of a dismal uh, five-year stretch, hasn't it? And here we go. Bouncing back. 85 points for Montalegre. And again, 84 points. That's two in a row. That's two in a row. And we're managerless. Tony has retired from management. And you can't even check on him. You can't even look at his profile. Tony, Tony, Tony. The budget's been spent this season. Rodrigo made a still, still just an icon. Still just an icon. I mean, I'm in the way, but I'll tell you now. He's got a 7.57. 648 goals in 783 games. 236 assists. 193 player of the matches. And you can see, last three seasons, he's got 27 goals in the league in each season. In four seasons in a row, he got 26. He got 29 there. 30. He's been unbelievable. And he's certainly an icon. And he was a legend. He's been downgraded. Demoted. Shocking. In terms of the Champions League, let's have a quick look at the Champions League. So they've lost in the round of 16 and the knockout, knock off, knockout playoff, and the knockout playoff round. Uh, they got knocked out in the league phase here. But yeah, they got to the last 16 and knockout playoff round a few times. And that's as far as they're getting, unfortunately. So yeah, four Premier Leagues, two Portuguese Cups, won another Portuguese Cup in 2046-47. I can see that now. Portuguese League Cup just won that for the first time in their history. We've run up a few times, but they've won it finally, beating Porto in the final. And yeah, we've got five more years. I don't think they're going to do anything in Europe. What's the squad saying? Oh, 160, Steven Gwillen. Hello. He was signed for nothing. He's wanted by Arsenal and Chelsea. You need to sell him. 150 million. But they've got some decent-ish players. They have got some decent-ish players. I'd be very interested to see if they did carry on. Well, we are going to keep simulating on for a few more years anyway, once Rodrigo has left. We go to 2053, though, and round off Rodrigo's career. Yeah, last time we were here, we were champions, and then we've continued it. Champions again on 89 points. Champions again on 83 points. 100 goals scored. 92 points. Champions again. That's five in a row. Six in a row. 88 points to Porto's 85. Can it be seven? It can. And the last five years have all been league wins for Montalegre. 85 points as well, as you can see. The Portuguese Cup has been won four times in the experiment by them. Run up a few times as well, but they won it twice in the last five years. The League Cup has been won once again. It was two times in a row, and then that was it. And that is it, unfortunately. No European fairy tale for Montalegre. They they got to the semi-final, losing to Bayern Munich, but most of the time... Oh, they are progressing to the quarterfinals a few times, but it's around a 16. It's around a 16 that they're getting eliminated. And yeah, understandably so. They got 
players in the 150s and a couple in the 160s not good enough to win a champions league not good enough they just couldn't they couldn't whether it's league reputation or what they just couldn't take it that step further which i thought i can't i guess i kind of expected i kind of expected it to be fair but still you know it is what it is well has he won the golden ball at all yes yes he has uh he's won it i think he just won it 10 times six football of the years world player of the year well he's won it one another three so that's four another eight times in a row so that's 12 footballers player of the year sorry team of the year he's there and all seasons he's not there it's Lamine Yamal disappointing um well Almeida is joining Al Hilal Montalegre have got 23 million pounds in the bank they've got 100 million pounds about to come into the club can they replace him and can they do anything in the last few years of this experiment let's simulate on see what happens okay so we're still here we're still here in the league 20 years on we've gone Montalegre and the Portuguese Premier League so they were winning it all the way up until 2053 and they continued winning it until 2059 so they continued and then they've fallen away a bit but they've only been down as far as sixth. this season's one of the worst ones they've had the senior squad is decent well they won 15 Portuguese leagues loads after he left and they've also won a Champions League in 2063 so they did get that European trophy it's one of the first times this has happened where they've actually continued the success on afterwards and are going to be done better what a foundation he's left them. He is a club legend. He is a club legend. Fortunately, a new stadium was built in 2058, and it was the Jose Manuel Viage Stadium, who was a player and manager who's an icon. Not a legend like myself and Tony, just an icon. Well, that's it for today's experiment, ladies and gentlemen. There is Rodrigo Almeida's profile. He scored 863 in 972 overall. Uh, 828 in 938 for Montalegre. He had an absolutely phenomenal career. And Montalegre did very well as well. If you've got a nation you want me to do this for, probably going to do Holland next, maybe. Or maybe, maybe, maybe in tweet the format, do something a bit different. I'm not too sure. But let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see. Any other ideas for experiments? Of course, always all is. Get to the point now where I'm getting a lot more comments on videos because of the increased subscriber count and increased views. So thank you very much for that. I do endeavour to get back to everyone, but of course, with limited time, I might miss the odd one, so please don't take it personally. I do read them all. Sometimes I might get back to them. It might be take a bit longer as well, but I do try. While you're here, subscribe, like the video, all that good stuff. Take good care of yourselves. See you soon.